Hello and welcome to um, another screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about PHP and Python working together. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a script in Python. Um, that script is going to um, do a, um, a walk through um, a directory that we told it to walk through. Um, and it will pass the results back into PHP. PHP will convert those into a just a native PHP array that we can um, play with and work with just as if it was, you know, just any, any other array. It will be a PHP array. Um, it's really simple, I promise you, two lines of code in PHP. Obviously, Python script can be as long as you want, but in PHP, it's two lines of code. So let's just have um, a little look at what we're going to do before we actually start coding anything. Um, so, we've got two approaches. We can do all this on a single server, which is what we're going to do today, because for just simplicity um, and not to confuse you too much, uh, or there's the option to do it over a network, which really is the, well, I say over a network, via um, a client server method, some sort of TCP IP server running. Um, and to be honest, on Python it's so simple to do. Um, and on PHP, it's easy to connect to that server and get the data. However, it's still a little bit further than what I wanted to take you today. just want to get you used to the fact that you can work between um, PHP and Python. So we're going to do it the simple way. However, as I say, on a single server, um, it's very, very simple implementation. However, if you did this on a production server, it could potentially put a heavy load on that server, especially if you had a lot of users accessing the script that was then making calls out to Python. However, it is easier to maintain. Obviously, you don't have to have um, um, a Python server running permanently, potentially on another, on another server. You don't have the overhead of the PHP um, code to access the server. It's just very, very simple. As I say, it's going to be two lines of code. Um, However, the uh, benefits, as I say, are that um, it allows a sharing of the workload if you are using the um, uh, um, server-based version um, of connecting from PHP to Python. Um, and as I say, it requires um, a, t a TCP IP server set up in Python to be permanently listening, and you are going to get that extra complexity. So we're going to use PHP's exec command to connect into Python. We're going to turn the results from Python um, into PHP as a JSON array. And then we'll use uh, PHP's JSON library um, to um, just simply decode back into a PHP array. And as I say, we've then got this native PHP array to work with, do what you want with. OK, let's do some coding. So. Let's um, what we're going to first do is let's make a call out to our um, Python script and let me show you where that's located. So I've just got it in my um, I've got the Python script just located in this Python underscore PHP folder in my root of my uh, web server. It's a very simple Python script. Um, it takes in, um, it looks at sysrv1 to get uh, the path that we're going to pass in. Um, makes a call to this function that's defined and it just walks around that folder getting all the files and adds them um, into this variable dir paths that I've created just as depends it each time it walks around and once it's finished it then returns back to this calling function um, as a JSON array the directory is created and then it prints it out which effectively returns it to PHP okay and then this is our PHP it's just an empty file at the moment but we're going to do something about that so we use this very simple PHP command and Python on my system is located in user bin Python and we're just going to call getfiles.py and the folder we're going to pass in will just be temp. 
It's as simple as that. That's it. We've made the call. And dollar result will now contain a JSON string. So we need to convert that into an array. Result array equals JSON decode dollar result. It couldn't be simpler, could it? That is now a standard, just a um, a PHP array that we've created from the uh, um, result we got from Python, and we can prove that. What we'll do is we'll is we'll loop through that array for each dollar result array as dollar row, and let's. Echo dollar row. Just put a new line at the end. Okay. So, should we see if it works? Let's call it. Ah, we didn't get anything. Why is that? Why did we not get anything back? Well, let's do some. Um, let's echo the result first. Let's see if that passes anything back. It didn't. We didn't get anything back. User bin python get files dot py, and we're passing in tmp. That should have worked. Ah, you're probably all screaming at me, weren't you? Hey. Eh? Didn't put the equal sign in. There we go. So that's what we just printed, what we just echoed out. Let's get rid of that, make this a little bit clearer. There we go. Native PHP array from a call to Python. Okay, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you like what I do then please subscribe to my channel it's really helpful thank you very much and I will uh, bring another video soon thank you bye bye